Theory papers are among the most important in our field because theory is central to the progression of science. Remember that at its core, the goal of science is to build and test theories. These are papers which are somewhat review-like. However, what they're really doing is outlining a theory. They'll usually present figures and theoretical models to suggest possible mechanisms to explain a given phenomena. These will tend to be pretty abstract, and they may not look terribly empirical at all. The idea is that other researchers will help to test this theory in various applications to examine whether it is credible. Thus, just because you're reading a theory paper doesn't mean that that theory is credible. When I come across these, I usually use the scholar timeline features to see who cited this paper, and to see what the research has done with it since its original proposal. So keep in mind, these papers aren't evidence by themselves. We weight their evidence very low initially, but we we adjust our beliefs about the credibility of these papers as new research tests the theory. Think of it like this, if I wrote a new theory paper tomorrow, you shouldn't lend much credence to it. You should distrust it. But if in 20 years, 200 papers have all supported my proposed mediators, well then, that old dusty publication from 20 years ago is looking mighty weighty now. When writing the intro to an empirical paper, it's a pretty good idea to find the citation for the original paper for any theories you present or discuss in your manuscript. Okay, next up are reviews. 